In a previous Creation Bites, we talked about the Florida Department of Education's suggestions to high schools as to how they should give evidence for evolution to their high school students. One evidence that they suggest is the subject of comparative embryology. The idea of this is that if you look at the embryos of many different animals, you will see that they look similar, therefore suggesting that they came from a common ancestor. Now, in fact, this is a very disingenuous form of evidence. It actually owes a great deal to the studies of Ernst Haeckel, or rather the drawings of Ernst Haeckel. Ernst Haeckel was an early disciple of Charles Darwin, and he produced a lot of drawings of embryos. And these embryos of different organisms looked very similar. But in fact, if you look at photographs of the embryos at those stages, you'll find that the embryos do not really look similar. What Haeckel had done was actually exaggerate certain features on some embryos and diminish other features to make them look similar. In practice, they don't look that similar at all. Now, this fact has been known about since the 1950s. And yet, I remember becoming a school teacher in public schools in England in the early 1980s. I remember the first school that I taught at, the gentleman teaching in the next laboratory was actually teaching this to his biology class as an evidence for evolution. And I pointed out to him that this has not been believed for 30 years at the time. And uh, to give him credit, he removed that from his uh, teaching, uh, from his teaching subjects from, from that point on. But we're another 30 years down the line now, and yet you will still find in science textbooks, in biology textbooks on both sides of the Atlantic, uh, books published in the last couple of years that still contain heckle-type drawings suggesting that the embryos of these creatures are the same. Now, the truth of the matter is that even if the embryos were the same, this would not actually prove that they had a common ancestor. As we discussed before, it could equally suggest a common designer. But the drawings are not factual in any case. So this subject should not be used as an evidence for evolution. And to do so, as I said, is disingenuous.